What can you really buy with Madden coins? That is the question that I'm going to be asking in today's video when I take a little bit of a different perspective today and I think about and compare the value of a virtual currency such as Madden coins as compared to the real life currency of the US dollar. Now I had the idea for this type of video a while ago and it really it hit me that people are willing to spend real life money in order to obtain fake money or fake currencies such as the Madden coins. There's that much of a demand for these coins that people are willing to spend their real money on it. And so, if virtual coins are somewhat equal to real money, then there has to be some kind of balance and we can figure out what can we buy with this fake currency. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at what you can actually buy, in theory, with Madden coins. If you guys enjoy the video, let me know down below. Let's get right into it. Alright ladies and gentlemen, before we get into anything real about buying anything, we're going to have to figure out the value of one Madden coin and to do that, and I know there's about a million different ways to do this, but the way I did it, I went over to my awesome sponsors, MaddenMobileCoins.com, check them out, uh, and I figured out that one million Madden coins costs you about 25 US dollars. Now this, this value changes all the time, but as of right now, that's what it is, and when you mix those numbers around, you figure out that one Madden coin is equal to 0 0.000025 US dollars. That sounds kind of crazy, and to make it sound even crazier, if you want to figure what that number is, one Madden coin is the same as cutting one penny into 400 pieces. One of those 400 pieces of a penny is equal to one Madden coin. That's kind of crazy, but that's what it is. So let's get right into what you can actually buy now that we know that's the case. All right, so let's say you're someone who's looking to buy a brand new car to get you from point A to point B, but there's one problem, you have no money. Well, it's not a huge problem though because you have tons and tons of Mad Mobile coins lying around and you are wondering how many of those coins it will take to get yourself a brand new car. Well, let's take a look at the simple but affordable 2016 brand new Honda Civic. It's a decent car, pretty cheap in comparison to most cars. A uh, brand new one's going to cost you around $18,700. Not bad, but again, you have no money. And let's just pretend that a magical coin dealer exists where you could trade in your coins for real life money. Let's just pretend that's real. Alright, if you could do that, it would cost you an amazing... Oh, here we go. 749,600,000 coins. Now that sounds like a lot, I understand, but it's kind of crazy to think that at one time, I had pretty much more than twice that amount in my account at one time in Mad Mobile. Now, you may be thinking, how is that possible? But actually, over a year ago in Madden, there was a glitch allowing an unlimited amount of coins to be given out where I literally had 2 billion coins. Who would have thought if I actually would have used those coins right, I might have actually gotten myself a car. Oh well, I'll think about that next time. Alright, so we're settling for a Honda Civic, not bad, a decent car, and it's going to cost us a lot of coins, but maybe I don't want a Honda Civic, maybe I want something nicer than a Honda Civic, maybe I want myself a brand new Lamborghini to go in my garage, and let's just say we're going to go with a 2016 Lamborghini Gallardo. Very, very fancy car, and it's going to cost you $164,997, just to be exact. That's about how much money it's going to cost you, and in coins, the number is not very pretty, 6,599,880,000 coins. Now that is a very, very high number of coins, and in fact, it is actually higher than the number of coins you're actually allowed to have in one Mad Mobile account because you're really only allowed to have 2 billion coins. Kind of a sad thing, but let's just say you have 4 counts full of Mad Mobile coins, full to the brink, you would be able to buy yourself a brand new Lamborghini. That's something pretty nice to think about. Okay, makes sense, you got yourself your nice Lamborghini, but you're thinking, well, you need a house to go with this Lamborghini, and you still have plenty of Madden coins to go around, so you're wondering, what can I buy with these coins in terms of a living space? Well. Let's talk about Will Smith's brand new California mansion. And why Will Smith? Well, who doesn't like Will Smith? Alright, well, <laughs> Will Smith's mansion costs $42 million. That's kind of crazy. If that's 42 million coins, that's still an amazing number of coins, but that's dollars. How much is that going to cost us in coins? Yikes, the number's pretty big. Here we go. <clears throat> 1,688,000,000. That is a lot of coins. 
That is more coins that is believed to be in the entire Madden game economy. That's how many coins that is. But let's just say some magical way you got yourself 1.68 trillion coins. How you did it, I don't know and I don't care. All I know is that, is that with that many coins, you can literally buy yourself Will Smith's mansion. Kind of crazy, kind of awesome. And you could be your very own Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. All right. You got the car, you got the house, now you're just wondering, what can you do for a nice fancy vacation to get away for a little while and relax? But you don't really want to go anywhere on the Earth. Let's say you want to take a trip to the moon with the company SpaceX, who is actually selling tickets to any paying customer for $150 million in the near future. Let's say you want to buy one of those tickets to go to the moon. If you really want to do that, $150 million worth of coins is actually $6 trillion. Yeah, kind of outrageous to pay $6 trillion coins for a ticket to the moon, but hey, if you really want to check out those space rocks, there's only one way to do it. And I mean, I don't know about you, I don't have $150 million laying around, but if the coins are easier to get, just go for it. Okay, we're going to go a little bit deeper here and a little bit crazier. Let's just say we want to figure out how much money in the entire world is worth in Madden coins. Now, I'm talking about literally every type of currency around the world. I'm talking every piece of money ever created around the world put together. How much is it worth? In US dollars, that amount is worth $60 trillion. That is that's dollar. That's not 60 trillion coins. That's $60 trillion. It's a number that's so hard to even think about that it's just such a huge number. A huger number is how much that's actually equal to in coins. Yeah, that's actually 6.4 quintillion coins. 6.4 quintillion coins is equal to the number of all the money in the world. Kind of crazy, but that's what it is. All right, to finish off our quest for finding how much things are worth in Madden coins, I want to go big. And I want to go so big that it's the biggest thing that we got. It's the earth. How much is the Earth worth? Well, I went ahead and figured out that the Earth is worth with everything in it. Everything that is inside and on the Earth is worth five quadrillion dollars. Yeah, that's insane. That's everything. That's every piece of dirt, every piece of metal, everything in the Earth is worth five quadrillion dollars. The number of how many coins that is worth is so long. Just to say it, it is 200 quintillion. 200 quintillion coins. This number has <clears throat> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 zeros. 20 zeros is on that number. That is such a huge number, but that is what all the coins are worth in the entire world. That is how many coins the entire earth is worth. And that is honestly insane to think about. But hey, let's say you wanted to buy the Earth for some reason. Well, if you have 200 quintillion coins, you can go ahead and do it. There's nothing stopping you. Other than maybe a few governments that really wouldn't be too happy with you buying their property. But hey, that's for you to figure out. You're the one with the coins around here. All right, guys, that is going to be the video. And I hope you enjoyed it. I literally have never done anything like this before. But I thought it would be a good idea, and I thought some of you guys at least would like this type of video. And if you did, be sure to let me know down below, because I can do this type of stuff again if you guys like it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see all of you in the next video. See you guys later.